as you know, in uh, many of our job sites in Scottsdale, they give us an envelope, which we got to build within. And if you've seen the overall picture of this property, we had to build, we're going to have to build the pool first, at least get it to shot creek before we can keep tearing up because we're going to lose access for major equipment to be back here in order to, to finish the pool. This has got dual Baja shelves. There's going to be a conversation fire pit here in the middle of the pool. Back here is going to be another negative edge, the water going over the edge and a fire feature behind it. This will be a swim up bar, sunken bar, which you'll be able to serve from a, um, a pergola bar area there. Over on this side, we've got the huge jacuzzi. We like to call them spools but uh, it'll be a raised sit and spin with uh, I think is it like 30 or 40 jets in the spa. So getting all the plumbing in here and over to the, the pool vault, it's gonna be a fun fun feat. Been having to get that engineered and figured out. This, this, this pool is, I think the deepest end is maybe close to five feet. So it's kind of a party pool. It's just for wading in water and conversing, talking, and playing games. The white pieces, the white forms that you see on the uh, pool right now, these are the outside uh, of the bond beam that they will shoot to. There'll be a one foot thick wall around all of these uh, forms. So it's, it looks bigger than it is right now, slightly, slightly smaller. So the next steps on this pool is that they'll install all the plumbing and the electrical, and then they'll come in and do all the rebar forming around that so that uh, they can get it in without having to cut pipes. That's why you have to do the infrastructure first before you do the actual forming of the rebar. This is the finished elevation of the uh, bond beam. They set these to the right height, and then they will build a wall that's a foot thick to encase the whole pool to hold the water. So this is uh, the pool deck. And the pool deck will go right up to here with a slight slope back to the uh, next planter. And then they'll have planters with steps there that will go up to onto the patio height, which will be at the finished floor height of the house. And that's where all the, uh, that's where all the stuff is going to be that's underneath roof. So you'll have covered patios, a barbecue that's underneath the uh, roof line, fireplace, seating areas, another bar. It goes into the house and over here behind you there's going to be a uh, large 130 inch screen tv that comes it'll be partially in the ground but it'll raise up out of the ground and you'll have this 138 uh, inch tv to watch sports for parties and watch movies from your jacuzzi or from where, anywhere in the backyard so that's kind of a new feature we just kind of added recently and you have a little dog dog lawn over here right off the master suite so they can let their dogs out. And then the next level down from the pool, we'll have steps and planters here that will bring you back down to another grassy area or turf area for just uh, sitting around and kids to play. And you see that little niche out of the uh, back wall, that'll be a little viewing deck that people can sit at and see the whole 360 view from there. Thanks for stopping by and looking at the pool here at Opulent Oasis. Give you a little better uh, view and idea of what's gonna happen back here.